the Son of God, they break the legs of the first and of the other which was crucified with him. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was dead already, he brought, they brought back his legs. But one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side. And they had been thinking that he was pierced. And forthwith came there out blood and water. Now that blood still has the power to wash your sins and mine away. Your sins can be washed away as far as God is concerned through faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. If we die without Christ as our Saviour, we will be in hell. God does not want that. He's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Just change your mind. Agree with God that you are sinner. That's what repentance is. And then you need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. And he that saw it bore record, and his record is true, and he knoweth that he saith true, that ye might believe. For these things were done, that the scripture should be fulfilled, and bone of him shall not be broken. And again, another scripture saith, They shall look on him who may pierce. This is a reference to Zechariah chapter 12 and verse 10, if you want to look it up. He was pierced for our transgressions. Transgression is stepping over the mark. It's rebellion. And according to 1 Samuel 15, 23, rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Remember, we are rebelling against God, not man. He was pleased for our iniquities. It means he was crushed because of our depravity. Isaiah 1, 6 says that from the soul of the foot, speaking of mankind, even unto the head there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. And Matthew 27, verses 24, uh, 2 and 23, Pilate said unto him, What shall I do then with Jesus, which is called Christ? They all say unto him, Let him be crucified. And the governor said, Why? What evil hath he done? But they cried out with the more, saying, Let him be crucified. First Peter 4, 18 says, For Christ also hath once suffered for sins the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened or made alive by the Spirit. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. That's another phrase we, found, we find here. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. In Nahum uh, chapter 1 verse 2, God is jealous and the Lord revengeth. The Lord revenges, revenges and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries and he reserves wrath for his enemies. Romans 5.1 says, For we are therefore being justified by faith. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Another verse says, And having made peace through the blood of his cross. You see, the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ can wash our sins away as far as the east is from the west. And as I said earlier, And thy sins and thy iniquities will I remember no more. That's what God would say to you. If you come to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ through faith in Him, repentance toward God, just admit you are a sinner, and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Romans 5.10 says, For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God, that means made friends to God, by the death of His Son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by His life. Colossians 1 verses 20 and 21, and having made peace, we've already mentioned this, through the blood of his cross, by him, to reconcile all things unto himself, by him I say, whether they be things in earth or things in heaven, and you that were some, sometime alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now hath he reconciled or made friends. And with his stripes we are healed. It also has the thought of bruising. 